Question to you guys, going off this then, but it's a bit less depressing. Has there been any shows or any anime in your in your history that has like affected you in any way? Not just like not just like in the negative aspect, obviously, or just rethinking mm, life, but just like Black Butler. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely had to rethink life after that one. <laughs> Bro. I think for me, like the one as much as I hate to use the word change my life, uh for me was like, and this is gonna sound cliche as fuck, but Clan Ad was one of those. <laughs> Sorry, I it was. <laughs> I know, I know. I totally understand that where that laughter comes from. I'm oh. sure there was a handful of people who laughed at the same time, right? Because it's so cliche now to say that clan yeah, had changed yeah, your life. Yeah, but yeah. when I watched that, like all the way through, it like straight up, cause that I was the- the story fucked me out. That was the first time that I like, in not just in anime, but in any piece of media that yeah. I just fucking broke down crying. Yeah, yeah. Because especially that second half of Clan After Story, it was just the most brutal payoff oh, yeah, that was to the longest build up, right? And just, I don't think I'll be able to, that's again, like going back like million topics, that's another show I don't think I'll be able to watch again. Yeah, Just absolutely. because again, I'm not in that headspace. And it's just something, it's not just like the fact that it was just a sad anime, yeah. Yeah. but I think it's just the fact that again, you've been kind of following these characters lives all the mm -hmm. way through where like, whereas like most, you know, visual novels or like romance stories would end with the couple getting together. Yeah. Planet took that one step further and showed you as the title says, the after story, right? Of like yeah. what happens. And I think just seeing that made these characters even more relatable to me. And I'm, that was the first time where I was like, you know what? Family, family is cool, man. Like family's fucking dope. Like before that, family was just like a thing. Mr. You Christian man. It was like it was like because before, like you know, the concept of like family was yeah. just very much like everybody else. Where it's like, yeah, of course, yeah. family's cool. Like yeah, everyone wants a family. I, I but like, Clannad was that one show that really dug into like just how important family is. Mm. And I think that like, I mean, as weird as it is to say, after I watched Clannad, I became way close to my family. And I think that's like a big that's aspect. Pretty that that's pretty it wholesome. It is wholesome. Yeah. And it like, and that like really changed my wow. life, I feel. I, I feel really bad now. What? Cause you're talking about how can I change your life? Yeah. I couldn't fucking finish the first season. Yeah, I know. I, to be that's fair, the problem though, yeah, right? I, yeah. I watched Clannad and, Af and After Story. Yeah. And I think yeah. the whole time when I was watching Clannad, I'm like, when's it gonna get good? Yeah, yeah. When I'm, I'm I am, not... don't fucking sing that Dango song one more time, <laughs> bitch. I dare you to sing that song one more time. Cause like, I remember watching the first eight episodes and yeah. I'm just like, it's, man, it's, this, this, this is trying really hard. This is, yeah. this is trying really fucking hard. Fucking boring. Yes. <laughs> but that's the problem, right? Is that like, the, the thing with the first season of Clannad, I never say to people, hey, you should watch the first season of yeah. Yeah. because. I know that no, no, no. on the grand scale of things, the first season's fucking yeah, but, but boring. But you can't appreciate the second season. That's without. the problem. You can't jump into After Story without having experienced these characters. Yeah. And it is important because a lot of these characters do make a very significant impact yeah. in After Story. But I guess, you know, it's it's really hard, I guess, especially now, mm. like maybe back then you could make someone watch 25 episodes. Yeah. Of yeah. Bullshit to get a good payoff. But now you can't do that. Like, no, I, no, I, no. I just don't think you can recommend it anymore. Right, because like the, the story structure and the joke structures that yeah. pop in, it's just so overdone now that like, yeah. it, ju it just seems like an aged version of everything that you can see today. But yeah. back when Clan Ad first came out in like 2009, I believe. Yeah, it was about 2007, 2009. I, I, think, yeah. I think I watched it after I watched Haruhi Suzumiya the first season. And I remember right. thinking mm. like, this is just like shittier. <laughs> like, like the school dynamic was just garbage. And I remember being like, Do you just watch every high school anime and just like, yeah, it's in high school. Yeah. It's it's the it, same it show. It must be good, it's right? The same no, no, no. I, I like to compare the high school animes and see what like dynamics they got going on and see what I'm oh, trying. Oh, their uniform is different to the yeah, one before. <laughs> this one has a model in their school? Okay. <laughs>